So let's take a look at what we're going to build in Keynote um, and Google Tour Creator here. We're going to kind of create this fantasy kind of world, uh, dark, apocalyptic, and we're going to use Keynote to do it. Um, really cool effect. Kids can kind of do a 360 view and have a look at what they've done. So we're going to start by making a new Keynote. Just grab uh, any one at the moment, just a blank one. And we are going to resize it. So when up the top here, Oh, we'll get rid of those first. Um, at the top right, we're actually going to go to Document Setup and we're going to select Size and we're going to go to Custom Size and make this a two to one ratio. So 2000 by 1000 or 4000 by 2000, that sort of thing, uh, because it needs that for the 360 kind of wraparound effect in Google Tour Creator. So simply now we've got to build, this is what I built um, in the past one. So we're going to do something similar here. So we're going to need two rectangles. Um, so just bring in two rough rectangles. We'll probably have a play with some gradients, I think, at some stage. Um, don't worry too much about, um, as long as it kind of goes over the canvas, it's, it's quite good. So I normally just um, kind of get one set up and then kind of copy paste the second one. Now, while I'm doing this, just letting you know with the gradients, you can start to play around with different things. I, I wanted the top of the canvas, which is kind of going to wrap around itself at the top um, of my viewing window. Uh, I want it quite dark um, at the top. Uh, I'm going to assume that the bottom kind of rectangle is kind of the land. And then I've kind of got my point of horizon roughly in the center. So where the two rectangles kind of meet here, um, that's where it's kind of... Um, going to be the horizon. So I'll place my kind of cities and things. So that's looking pretty good. You could go with just a block color like I have there, or you could start to play around with gradients, which looks great in VR. It really does because it kind of gives that um, effect of the sun setting and the, and the different tones that are in the sky. You can see there it's starting to look really, really good. Um, and we can play around with the bottom one too if we wanted to as well. But what we're going to do there is we're going to bring in um, a couple of silhouette kind of city uh, along the lines of the horizon, so kind of cityscapes, if you if you like. Um, and we're going to bring them, and we'll make them black. You can make them a little bit bigger uh, to resize them, but because they're on the horizon, they need to be in perspective a little bit, so we'll make them a little bit smaller. And we can replicate those. Now, I need to say, the, the don't worry too much, because as this wraps around, obviously it distorts. So some of these things in the center will stay the same, but these ones on the side here will actually uh, make kind of longer and kind of... Um, distort. So I'm changing and, and making them really skinny so that when it actually wraps around, it's actually going to get bigger and actually look a little bit more realistic. So if you can kind of imagine it wrapping it around something, it, those bits there are going to be actually elongated a little bit. So we'll just keep that nice and simple. Um, it would be good to bring in uh, maybe some birds. Birds look great in the sky aspect of it because it kind of gives us that depth when they're a little bit bigger um, and then further away uh, they can be a little bit smaller and we'll make them black as well. I know I'm going very apocalyptic here, but the black looks really good in regard to kind of the silhouettes. The sun's kind of gone down um, and we might, we can replicate them as many as we want, but I'm going to keep mine really basic for this. Um, now you noticed in the last one I had a sky. Now I have cheated a little bit. I have got a really great PNG um, of kind of a, a fantasy cloud up in the sky, a little bit like uh, Avengers type aspect of it. So if you go to Creative Commons, if you look for some websites where you can grab some free to use PNGs um, that you can kind of use in projects, um, it kind of enhances it a little bit with what you're doing. Uh, going to bring in some lightning. Now the great thing about lightning is you can kind of layer that in front or behind the sky. Um, so in the arrange category up the top there that just went past, I can actually arrange them. I might make, last one that I made yellow, I might make these white. Uh, I'll replicate two of those, um, two lightning, and kind of just position them at the start. Once again, they're going to distort a little bit if they're not centered, so I'm not going to stress too much about giving you a tutorial on all those things. And finally, I'm going to bring in that um, little bit of uh, sugar on top, I guess, uh, which is that uh, image that I showed you. Now, this is a really, it's a beautiful image. Um, I'm going to take off the proportions so that I can stretch this a little bit because if you can imagine at the top it's going to wrap around the entire um, kind of at the zenith right at the top point so I don't need the extra bits because it's an image I'm going to double tap that and just kind of mask it half off um, 
if you can see what I'm doing here and just kind of because I don't need to worry too much about that. Although to be honest, the right hand side and the left hand side is going to join a little bit. So you kind of don't want it too detailed or else it's going to look a little bit dodgy as they come together in the spiral. You can see that my lightning is coming through the cloud a little bit there, which looks awesome. And then it's almost time to export and actually bring that into Tool Creator, which is just so simple. So we're going to export. You don't have to worry about being PNG image. It can be a JPEG. That's fine because we don't need the transparency. And we're going to save those two images to our camera roll. And the next step is going to Google Tool Creator. So this is web-based. This is where you can bring in 3D, uh, 360 degree views of schools and kind of areas. We're going to create a new tour. Uh, that's the website there. So if you just kind of Google that, you can find it pretty easily. You need a Google account, obviously. Uh, I'm going to create a new tour. I'll call this something like Sky um, to start off with. And then what we're going to do is the things that it does need, it needs a little cover image. to. So I'm going to select an image there. I can probably use the one that I just used. Yep, that'll work. I can leave the description off. And we're going to create. And down the bottom there, we can create a tour straight away. And we're just going to upload. So on the right hand side there, not Street View, upload that image that we just saved to our camera roll, that kind of 2000 by 1000 one. It's straight in our photo library there. Uh, doing all this on an iPad because it views beautifully on an iPad with when we're in VR mode, we can rotate around and really get up and look around, get off our, our bottoms and start looking around. So there it is there. I'm going to give it a title. It needs a title, obviously. And when I publish it, I'll make it unlisted. I'm, I don't want this for the general public. This is just for you guys to show you how to do it. So we'll put in Sky there. We'll publish. It's got a start viewing point. You can add a whole lot of things. You could actually add some little points of interest if you'd like to, but we'll make this unlisted. And then hopefully it'll give us the option there of um, viewing the tour. So once again, it's kind of not made for this tour creator, but I'm just being a little bit creative with this kind of narratives and storytelling, this fantasy world that we're creating in VR at the moment. So there it is there. So we'll publish it and then we'll press on view tour. And that opens up a new window on my iPad. Um, and then basically, the great thing about this is I raise and move my iPad around and it's working in kind of live view, uh, which is pretty cool. So as it comes up here, it takes a little while, there we go. So I'm actually lifting my iPad, I'm kind of turning my body around. And doesn't that look great? Really cool kind of narrative effect. Let's look at our... Oh, that's looking really great, actually. Probably my lightning could have been up a little bit further, but I can play around with that as I go. If I rotate, I've got that other one around there. Um, really looking good. The birds look great as well. You can start to kind of throw in a few things there in the sky. They look really, really great. So just recapping, back Keynote, such a versatile um, application that we can use for almost anything. Just watch this video again if you need a hand. And hope you got something out of it. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.